Hi, grade eights. Today what we're going to do is we're going to work on multiplying mixed fractions. There's a couple of different ways to do this. The first way I'm going to show you is how to do it, keeping it as a mixed fraction. And then I'm going to show you a second way, which I'd probably consider probably the easier of the two ways, is which turning it into an improper fraction and then bringing it back to a mix. So let's start with multiplying mixed fractions as mixed fractions. So just a reminder, this is going to look like the situation where you did something like, well, I'm going to not do 10, but let's do something like 12 times 13. So one way that you're probably familiar with doing this is you put like the 12 as 10 plus 2 on one side, and then down the other side you do 13 as 10 and 3, and then you multiply using the grid. So 10 times 10 is 100, 10 times 2 is 20, 10 times 3 is 30, 3 times 2 is 6. And then you just add it up, and you can see you get 156 when you do that by adding up the 4 and 7. Well, you can do the exact same thing with fractions. So in this case here, what I want to show you is we're going to just make our grid. On one side, we're going to put 2 and 1 half. And on the other side, we're going to do 3 and a third. And so you can see you got your grid here. Now, there's four boxes we've got to fill in. So we're just going to take some time here to fill in all four boxes. So 2 times 3, <coughs> excuse me, is 6. So that one's pretty straightforward. Let's do box number 2. It's 2 times 1 half. And just a reminder, 2 you can write as a fraction of 2 over 1. And when you multiply fractions, top times top, bottom times bottom. So 2 times, sorry, that should be 1 third. So 2 times 1 is 2 on top. 1 times 3 is 3 on the bottom. <coughs> so that's what box number 2 is. Let's go to box number 3. You can see we've got 3 times 1 half. And so you can see we're going to write 3 as a fraction, so 3 over 1. And top times top, bottom times bottom. And you end up getting 3 times 1 is 3 on in the numerator. And then 1 times 2 is 3. 2 in the denominator. Last one, we've got 1 half times 1 third. So this will go in box 4. So we got 1 half times 1 third. And you can see top times top gives us 1 times 1 is 1. Bottom times bottom, 2 times 3 is 6. So the last thing I need to do is just simply add these four boxes up, just like we did before. So we've got 6, and we've got two-thirds, three-halves, and one-six. <clears throat> now just a quick reminder, so this is just all our work over here. So just a reminder, if I've got three-halves, I can write that as a mixed of one and one-half. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this as six plus two-thirds plus one and one-half plus one six. So you can see now I've got six whole and I've got one whole so that adds up to seven holes. Now the next thing we need to do is what is two-thirds? So you can see we've got a two-thirds here, we've got a one-half here, we've got a one-six. So what's two-thirds plus one-half plus one-six? So I'm going to just kind of do this over off on the side. And you can see here, we need a common denominator when we add fractions. So the basic denominators, well, let's find the lowest common multiple between these. So do some multiples. So 2, 4, 6, 8. Those are multiples of 2. Let's do 3. 3, 6, 9, 12. Next one here for 6s is 6, 12, 14. You can see the lowest multiple they all have is they all are multiples of 6. So what we're going to do is we're going to write each of these fractions as out of 6. Some of these are fairly straightforward. Uh, you can see 3 times 2 gives us the 6 here. So therefore, we need to multiply the top by 2, which gives us 4, 6. A half is the same as 3, 6. And if you're not sure of that, you just multiply the top and bottom by 3. 2 times 3 gives us a 6 in the denominator. 1 times 3 gives us the 1 on 
in the numerator. And 1 6 is already out of 6, so you can keep it like that. So you can see here, when we're adding fractions, we add the numerators. 4 plus 3 plus 1 gives us 8 out of 6. Now, let's write that as a mixed. You can see I've got one whole would be 6 out of 6, and that would leave me with 2 out of 6 left. Now, the last thing I would say here is 2 6 both are even, so we can divide them both by 2, so you get 1 and 1 third. So I'm now going to just add that to what I've got over here. So I've got seven whole plus one whole and an extra third. So you can see our answer here is going to be eight holes and one third. So you can see this method, I would, in my opinion, the grid part is fairly straightforward. The work becomes when you add fractions together because that takes a lot of work finding common denominators, and simplifying and switching from mixed to improper. Uh, that's where I would say this one has some challenges. But I hope that makes sense. I want you to try some questions now.